I didn't realize how exciting farming was when I was young. I actually grew up on a farm, a dairy farm down in Pennsylvania, and farming sounded pretty boring to me. But it's very exciting now. And, and one of the things that's exciting is the deep impact it has on climate change, the deep impact it has on democracy. So what about democracy? Um, you've, you've written about big food and, and you know, big ag and, and big meat and big processing and big stores, big retail. Well, democracy is threatened by constant, large concentrations of wealth. You know, people knew this and understood this uh, at the turn of the last century, and that's why they wrote uh, the Sherman Antitrust Act and all the other antitrust legislations. They were written not to protect consumers from price fixing, although that's all we hear about anymore. They were written to protect the republic against concentrations of power, that it was totally understood that if corporations got so big, they could push the government around and distort everything. And, um, uh, you know, the word consumer doesn't appear in the Sherman Antitrust Act. It's about power. It's about politics. And those um, antitrust has been rewritten under neoliberalism. I mean, it really happens during the uh, Reagan administration where um, the Reagan Justice Department decided that they would redefine antitrust and, and set the bar for when you intervened. And they basically said it, it was fine. And this was Robert Bork. It was his theory. He came up with this in a book he wrote a few in the late 70s. And it was basically like combining, corporations combining can lead to great efficiencies. And unless it harms the consumer, uh, we're going to let it happen. Uh, so the test for whether a company has gotten too big or an industry is too concentrated is our price is going up. Uh, and will a combination lead to higher, uh, you know, higher prices? Um, and if it didn't, fine. And this is a complete perversion of what these laws exist to, to defend against. They were equally concerned with producers. The producers got screwed. Um, farmers and uh, ranchers and people making all sorts of products. If they only had one person to sell to, one company to sell to, and in the Midwest, with ranchers, you have that. You know, the big four have divided up, you know, the Midwest and the West. Um, so functionally, you only have, you know, one company you can sell your cattle to. Um, you're, you're captive. And, and so certainly the chicken farmers, that's true, because they're under contract. So you didn't have any competition at that end. But, but the, the system turned a blind eye to that, and it, and it still has. That memo, it's just a memo, too. This wasn't a change in law. It's just sitting there in the Justice Department. And a, um, uh, a Biden appointee serious about antitrust can simply write a new memo and uh, can hope that they will. Um, and, you know, it'll be driven as much by the tech industry, I think, if they do, as, as from food. But it's clear that the Biden administration has their eye on concentration in food.